Good evening, everyone.
for everybody, for you and for those around you. In the halls of this school, for the past few years, you have been nurtured and protected me really from the rest of the world. Each of you is now the proud beneficiary of a liberal arts education that comes from a tradition, a long, long tradition since ancient times really, designed to prepare you for an active civic life and to prepare you for leadership if you choose to be a leader. You are graduates now of one of the newest and finest educational centers in Belize, John Paul II Junior College. Congratulations to all of you. For some of you graduates, this might be the end of your formal education and the start of a new job. For others, it is a step on your road to a university or some form of higher learning. Some of you may be wondering what kind of world really awaits you. How the world will look like. How some of you feel, how can I go out there and conquer the world? Some of you might feel that you are not clear about what it is you want to do in life. Others have doubts. Some of you are uncertain what you want to do. All such feelings are normal. I want to assure you that that is okay. It is okay to feel that way. You should not be troubled if at this stage you still have not made up your mind or cannot make up your mind. Even those of you who are not clear, who are already clear, who know exactly what you want to do in the future. It is okay if you change your mind too, because some of you will be changing your mind along the way. It is okay. It is okay to have doubts. In time, life, in life we all come to realize that we do not know as much as we thought we did. Sometimes we are sure about something, but then we learn that actually what we thought we knew is really not so. And we learn especially that in the greater scheme of things, we realize how, how little we are in this world and in this universe. So you should not be afraid. Don't be afraid at all. Challenge yourself to achieve new heights in your life. Even if sometimes we will fail, there is much to learn from our mistakes and the mistakes of others too. Experience, whether good or bad, is a good teacher. So do not be afraid to make false starts. Even every now and then, we will be wrong about things. That is all right too. Along our life's journey, disappointments will sometimes sting us. But life's hard lessons have a way of making us stronger. So do your best to avoid failure, but never be afraid to fail. Life is full of choices. Our entire life every day is about a series of decisions we have to make. Do we wake up, get out of bed, or do we just sleep all day? Some of those decisions are very hard. You don't want to get up in the morning. Sometimes you feel sleepy, but you know you have to work and study for the following day. And sometimes you just say, forget it, I'm just going to sleep at a time. But you would know that it takes effort and it takes sacrifice. So, and some of your decisions will tend to lead to good things, and unfortunately others to bad ones. We all have free will and it is up to each of us to make as many good decisions as possible and to limit the bad ones and to learn from each and every one of them. The saying goes that you cannot choose your family but you can choose your friends. I urge you to resist those around you who insist on making poor decisions and there are many of them. Being accepted or popular with those doing wrong is an awful bargain that is not worth it for any of us. 
seek to be on the side of what is right. Some great thinker, I don't know his name, was correct when he said that it is never wrong to do the right thing. It may be hard, but never wrong to do the right thing. We are living in an era of radical transformations in science and technology affecting who we are and how we live. Today we take for granted technological conveniences that took us from the horse carriage to the car, from the scrubbing boards, some still remember that, so we still have it around, to the washing machines, from the fogon or fire heart to the microwave, and from the telegraph to the cell phone. Life in Belize was much different when I was born. There was no television, there was no cell phone, no washing machine, no microwaves. And certainly there was no Facebook, no WhatsApp, and no Instagram. But with progress comes new challenges. When I was growing up around your time in your life, Belize was covered by forest as much as 75%. Today it is 56%. And by the end of the century, it will be 26% if we continue along this way. So with deforestation, much of the trees we take for granted today are likely to disappear. And it is worse in other parts of the world. More and more, we are having to deal with changing patterns in a global environment and we are part of that global environment. In the next few years, climate change will cause hundreds of millions across the globe to face food insecurity, forced migration, disease and death. His Holiness Pope Francis refers to this as a global, global climate emergency. And he has warned that failure to take urgent action would be a brutal act of injustice, especially toward the poor and future generations. So your generation, especially, will be the most affected by climate change. We all have to deal with the consequences of rising sea levels, of our exposure to the increasing frequency and intensity of tropical storms and hurricanes, hotter and more frequent heat waves, more floods, more droughts, and the loss of our ecosystems. But all is not lost. How we cope in the years ahead will depend heavily on your generations, you, your people. How, how resilient and adaptable you are as individuals and together as a community and as a society. So it is because of people like you, young, free, brave, that I remain full of hope for the future. With less education, resources and technologies, our ancestors, your parents, your grandparents, Learn to cope and overcome life's hard problems. And I am sure that so will you. But you will have to work hard for it. And I didn't mean to come here to burden you with the troubles of the world, talk to you about climate change and all the troubles that you will have to be dealing with. But it is, it is standard nowadays at commencements to call on our young graduates to go out and do great things like to conquer the world. The world is your oyster, some say, and no mountain is too high to climb. My message is not to tell you to go out and dream anything you want to, and that you can conquer the world. Of course you can. But my message to you is much more simple, but in the same way, very ambitious. To conquer the world, one has to first conquer oneself. So throughout life, please do strive to conquer yourself. 
you cannot begin to achieve much if you cannot first get a hold of yourself. Learn to live your life with personal dignity and respect, and respect for others as well. Do not yield to life's fleeting enticements and distractions. Do not fall in the trap of saying things or pretending to be someone else simply because others expect you to. Avoid those who discourage you from getting ahead in life. It is you who must choose who you want to be and take responsibility for it. Do not blame others for your failures or shortcomings. Victimhood is not a virtue. None of us can rise above our life circumstances if we do not take responsibility for our own actions, for our own destiny. We have to take responsibility for ourselves. Associate with people who add to your lives, not who subtract from them. Remember the difference between those who produce mediocre work and excellent results is attributable to the hard work and self and self discipline. All the greatest thinkers of the world will tell you that the rewards of self indulgence are not as great as the rewards of self discipline. So try to develop good habits. Use your time wisely. Do not waste your time in useless tasks and useless activities. I have no doubt that the formation you received from John Paul II Junior College, from your loved ones, from your teachers, your church, your civic groups, your community, will help to guide you through the years ahead. I have no doubt of that. Each of you will follow your own path, of course. Whatever road you choose, the values with which you were imbued and that you come to embrace along the way will serve you as your guiding beacon, especially during difficult and trying times. You will grow to appreciate that the timeless values they try to teach you were never meant to chain you down. They were meant to guide you. Not guide you in the way that a map helps to reach geographically from point A to point B. There is a passage in 2 Corinthians that reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Along your life's path, especially in the most trying of times, it is that inner guide, that inner faith, that will help you to find your own way, your own light, your own truth. So graduates, as you step into a new world, my wish for you is that for the rest of your life, you nourish yourself with useful knowledge, with dignity, and humanity. Learn to gather moral strength and grace to do good and to overcome failures. Live by the golden rule. Work hard. Be kind and good things will come to you. Be thankful for what you have and rejoice when others do good in life. No matter what you do, do it good and do it on time. Doesn't make sense or it doesn't mean much to do something good but do it too little. Remember Francis of Assisi. He said, when you leave this earth, you will take nothing that you have received, only what you have given. So keep on giving. And at the end of your day, you will be satisfied with a full heart, enriched by honest service, love, sacrifice, and courage. When I was your age, we would often gather around, listen to music, and sometimes sing. If I could borrow from an old song from those days, I'd say to you, may the good Lord be with you down every road you roam. May sunshine and happiness surround you when you're far from home. 
And may you grow to be proud, dignified, and true. And do unto others as you had done to you. May good fortune be with you. May your guiding light be strong. May you build a stairway to heaven. And may you never love in vain. And in your heart, may you always remain forever young. Class of 2019, congratulations in this milestone in the formation of your life. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much.